Hello, welcome to another uh, Streamlit tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the Streamlit uh, uh, package for building web app for geospatial uh, applications. So if you have been following my uh, video, uh, you probably know in the past I developed a web app for geospatial applications using a Streamlit. And you can see it looks like this and um, so it's not very convenient if you add uh, more and more web apps uh, because this is not really a multi-page so it's kind of a, uh, uh, not a very straightforward so earlier this month Streamlit um, introduced uh, support for mul native multi-page uh, web apps so now you can actually build things pretty nicely and it's much faster let me show you this is what it looks like so now you can actually add an icon to the left side so you can have a menu like this pretty nicely and when you click uh, it loads much faster compared to what uh, used to be in the past. It, it takes a little bit longer and um, and it doesn't look as nice as what we have right now. So this is what we're going to show you. Uh, the the link is uh, geospatial.streamlitapp.com and uh, you can also find the link in the description. So here I show you a couple of uh, applications. I think uh, maybe around 10, but I will add more in the future. You're welcome to follow the GitHub so if you want you can go to click the link uh, to go to the github repository so this is where the where uh, the source code for the web app um, is hosted so right now uh, in the past it was all the application within here uh, this is in the, the old version so i have not deleted it yet and now so the app basically in here so you will be able to see the file name actually has an icon so the icon uh, if you want to learn more about the multi-page web app you are welcome to go to the streamlit uh, website to learn more how to use that but uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward so what you need to do is to for example in your root directory uh, you need to have something called home or whatever dot uh, py so in my case i has uh, home dot py it's supposed to be also support uh, emoji in the file name but right now it's, it's some issue so uh, you, you just name a, a file name don't have an, any emoji in the file name and so this is where uh, source is the main the home page so the home is going to show up in here by default the icon is just like a book uh, so this right now it cannot change so it's a limitation but uh, in the future hopefully you can specify uh, uh, an emoji in the file name and you'll sort of in here but it doesn't work at the moment um, and once you have this one, all you need to do is just to have a requirements.txt. So this is where you have all the uh, required dependencies for your package. You can where you're welcome to change that. And after that, you put all your apps within the pages. So you need to have a folder named pages within here. So this is all the pages. So you can add more and more. By default, you can. It, it's good practice to name the files like um, it's a number and then underscore emoji underscore so this we basically just use to uh, rank the apps showing up here right if you look at this one here showing in the order and um, but you can you can change that if you don't need the icon you can just name as the file um, without the emoji so it will show up just as a plain text on there so this is where the, all the source code again uh, if you want you're welcome to um, uh, adapt that and so this app can be deployed to uh, Streamlit Cloud, uh, Heroku, or uh, Binder. So uh, there are a couple of ways you can do that. And I will show another video how you actually you can create something like this. But uh, for today, I'm just going to show you uh, just the app. And so I also have the other uh, repository called Streamlit Multipage uh, Template. And this is kind of just the template. So if you want, you can just click Use as this template. Uh, to clone to your github repository and then you should be able to go from there again you can deploy to uh, streamlit cloud roku and uh, binder so let's go back to the web app in here and i'm just going to quickly show you some of the functionality of the web app so on the left side here just the sidebar and also the menu on the right here shows you some uh, uh, the information so uh, first you can click for example the time lapse so this is uh, one of the uh, widely used uh, web app uh, for geospatial so you can create time-lapse animations for any location around the globe you can simply draw a rectangle and then upload um, here and then just click the options so for me for example I can just simply you can select any pretty much any um, um, examples and we can change different collections so um, here a couple you can select here but it can apply to any Google sending image collection so for example I can select uh, vegetation index right and then from here you can select you can upload for example you can select draw a rectangle uh, let me show you here 
I just want to see it. Maybe it's just, for example, I want to look at vegetation dynamics in this region and then click export. Export this one to your computer and then upload it back. So you need to upload this one back to the, uh, to the web app. Now you have this one here and then you can adjust the parameters. For example, again, overlay. I can overlay countries. You can overlay whatever you, you like, continents. And then uh, you can choose, for example, NDVI, whatever, and then just click. Usually it takes uh, 20, 30 seconds. Uh, you should be able to create time uh animation pretty uh, easily. Um, so you're welcome to explore here. Uh, I also saw somebody um, the um, a tutorial in the past, so you can if you want you can follow the tutorial how to uh, create uh, create it. Okay, so take a look. And uh, this is what you can see uh, the vegetation dynamics changes uh, during the past I think uh, almost two two decades. But uh, this is the long term um, average, so you can see the change. It looks pretty nicely uh, throughout the year. And you can also download this one as a video, uh, MP4, uh, if you like. So this is how you can create uh, time lapse animations. Again, so you can try out uh, other locations uh, if you like. You can try out other other satellite uh, image collections. So there are a lot of things you can uh, choose from. All right. So this is about uh, creating satellite time lapse. You can also create uh, visualize uh, 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 vector data. For example, this one in this case using the. Uh, US housing data and um, so you can visualize in 3d uh, the data uh, will pull from uh, realtor.com so you can for example go to the realtor.com to uh, get the most updated data uh, I might need to update this to the latest one but for now just to show you the example <coughs> right so you can um, uh, look at this one you can move your mouse you will see for example the attribute of this one and you can change by for example different scale by uh by county by state by metro area you can also show in 3d so this one here right now is the median listing price right so you can see ranging from like uh tens of thousands to like million dollars right and if i if i you can visualize in 3d right and then put your mouse uh, press control on your keyboard and then move your mouse uh, this you'll be able to see for example in 3d so this one is uh, behind Built upon the Pi Deck, uh, so if you are familiar with Pi Deck, you should be able to build something like this. And again, there are a lot more options you can choose from. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to, um, so that you are welcome to explore. And for example, I can choose, for example, by state, right? And this one shows you, for example, which state has the highest median listing price, right? California, also some of the northeast, uh, Florida, uh, Texas. And you can change color if you don't like the color. You are welcome to. Uh, change to whatever color you like and pretty much they're all instant right you take a look right um, you can also for example my metro cities and in this case it's going to just buy uh, by cities right and then again you can see this uh, if you don't like this 3d you just uncheck it's returned back to just uh, maps like this okay and it will the right here shows you the uh, the legend so this is how uh, you can visualize um, uh, US housing data. The next one is a split panel map. So this is useful if you need to compare two data layers. And if you want, you can click the source code. So take a look. Very simple. Only three lines of code, right? Uh, you can create a map and then the split map. So you can specify the layer. So this one is a built-in base map. So uh, the uh, European, uh, European Space Agency a Global Land Cover 2020. So on the left side here, this one is the uh, uh, first color composite and the right here is the lane cover um, uh, lane cover classification right? and then you can from here you can simply you can zoom in to any location you like and then you can see below right corner here shows you the legend of the lane cover right and then you can you can move left and right to inspect um, the layers right take a look it might take some time to load because this is a base map layer and and just like google map and google earth right so you can see that you can see the comparison between uh different data layers all right so a split map next one is a heat map right so you can create some heat map uh so the um rate represent high for example in this case higher uh, elevation um blue one represents uh lower elevation so again this is just a couple lines of code you can just say it's a csv and the csv has um, uh, cities and latitude, longitude, and also the population, right? So you can see here using the population max, and then you can specify some parameters 
to create time lapse uh, um, no, uh, um, uh, heat map like this right? zoom in and zoom out pretty nicely next one uh, marker cluster so if you have some points uh, and then you want to sort it on the map and those points might also have uh, different categories so here I'm just simple example okay I want to show the uh, different uh, cities so in the west in the northeast in the south in the midwest right so different category you can specify uh, with a different color different uh, uh, marker right it looks different right so you can zoom in you can zoom out when you have your mouse it's going to show you for example this is the polygon right the polygon that means uh, those are the things uh, in, in the south in the northeast in the midwest right uh, again look at the source code uh, not too complicated like you have two data layers one data layer is the cities the other layer is the u.s uh, regions and then you can add as geotation right at the um uh, region layer and then you add points from CS, uh, xy so that means your uh, csv has uh, latitude column longitude column and also uh, the region what kind of region and also uh, what kind of color or the marker all right different color right this is the gear map leaf and globe right so different uh, marker style you can specify pretty easily and then you can create a map like this just uh, it thanks you just one line of code so this is just one line of code um, and uh, you can customize to your own uh, data uh, next one base maps uh, so if you uh, you just want to pull some base map from the internet you can easily do it i'm not sure what's going on here and so the, here is a source box you can source any base map uh, around the globe let me come back here not sure why probably it's just uh, here let me search for example i want some uh azuri base map you just type azuri and then from here you can specify whatever uh it might be just my internet uh it's a bit slow so on the lower left corner here you can see it's working i uh, will come back later let me try uh the other one uh, hmm. Okay, so looks like it's the internet uh, problems and for, so for this one here the base map um, you can all right for example as i saw you earlier you can just type esri oops and then you can show any options uh, you like so i'm going to just see like for example esri uh, uh, national geography uh, uh, base map right you can zoom in you can zoom out you can change to any other base map you like so for example war imagery right and pretty easily besides that uh, so these are the some of the um, uh, base map in the based on xyz uh, services but you can also search some so called uh, quick map services so this one has a lot more options and i can say for example google i want to search any base map that might contain a uh, google base map so if you scroll down here let me see uh oops hmm, interesting it's supposed to be contain google base maps uh, maybe some of those may have been uh, removed. I'm not quite sure, but uh, you're welcome to change whatever base map. So this one here, for example, is the um, MODIS uh, satellite data. Right. So this is using the base map. You can also uh, search web map services or so-called WMS. So if you have any uh, web services that you like, you can just simply paste the URL here and then once you paste the url it's going to retrieve all the data layers so in this case uh, it has many many data layers so this is the european space agency uh, global land cover so for example the by default it's only adding the land cover data layer but you can add more so i'm going to add another one here for example the first color composite uh, sentinel 2 data right the optical data and you can see it's added to the map nicely and so you can turn the layer on and off to take it, take a look at that you can also add this one the last one here tcc two color composite right again uh here you can turn layer on and off so this is how you can uh, retrieve uh, web map services very easily and load it into the interactive map next one raster data visualization so this one is specifically for visualizing uh, cloud optimized geotiff uh, and so if you have any cloud optimized geotiff hosted somewhere or you have some freely available cloud optimized geotiff you can easily so i provide some example here this data from uh, digital uh, globe or right now max r open data program uh, most of those are related to uh, california fire so before and after and they are open their uh, 
uh, to the public you can see the link here do, 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 and then dot tiff uh, that means this usually right now most of the data hosting in the cloud like use a cloud optimized geo tiff so in that case you don't have to download the data so i can select uh, any of those in here on the right it's going to be automatically updated uh, the url it's also going to pull all the uh banks so different bank names and then just click submit it should be able to visualize the data right so you can take a look this is the uh, very high resolution so this is a uh, submit resolution uh, data so you can see for example how and uh, this one is probably before but you should be able to uh, change some of the pre-event and uh, after event so let me see here post event right so post event if you select some other rows and if you click uh, you should be able to see some of the fire uh, appear in the imagery all right so be, some of those you can see some of the smoke uh, let me some of the fire uh, happening in the region or might be just a recovery so i'm not sure okay look look at this one so this is the the fire right now is hap uh, happening uh kept by this capture in the imagery and you can see what how you're going to visualize you can also just one single bank so you can choose just one single bank and then click again you should expect to see a gray scale imagery because you only um, visualize one spectral bank so this is how easy it is you can visualize any cloud optimized GOT uh, on the internet and then just pull them there pull it on the map last one is about vector data visualization so again if you have some data hosted somewhere you can just paste the url so it can be a geosation it can be a kml it can be um a zip file that contains a swap file so you can just paste the url here or you can just upload data from a computer if you have any files that you store on your computer you can do that uh easily so for example i may uh, let me go to the um for example the leap map website right there's some sample data here and you can click examples data and how about maybe the uh, this one here so what you need to just uh, go to the link here download right click copy uh, link address and then come back to here just simply paste and so enter i uh, just enter you see it's being pasted in here so you will be able to visualize uh pretty pretty much any uh traditional vector data uh they you can put it in the map so this is how easy it is you can also upload data from a computer so if you have a, a file on your computer you can upload uh pretty easily so let me show you here one more time and how easy it can be uploaded so for example i'm going to look at uh u.s states let me see here that you have a geojson us cities or training sample whatever and just click raw data save uh, uh save as save this one to your computer and then from here just uh browse change the data yeah it's already here but uh, it's pretty small so you don't see it but uh, this is exactly the same as it show uh, on github that it's preview right so it's around uh san francisco right so you can automatically assign a random color to all the polygons by whatever id right you can also specify the color so based on the column uh you can specify for example this two belongs to water this two belongs to vegetation urban something like that right so that's all for uh this web app again you're welcome to look at the source code here github repository and um i i will make another video showing you how you can actually build an app like this using the web app multi-page app template so uh stay tuned thank you for watching take care bye bye